Hi, I'm Keith, and in this video we're going to discuss how to create views and set those views as defaults for your users by role. Okay, here we are inside of our Plan Plus Online account, and here's the situation. I am a manager. I'm trying to create some default views. Now, these are the views over here. These are just a couple of views that come in each account as standard. So what I want to do is I want to create some default views so that the agents or the reps that work inside my company that they can just easily click this button and go right to finding their leads. Now, let's here's the example. We've got uh, some leads in here that are called lead, and this this will give me a list of the leads. So this is basically what I want to do. But what I want to do is I want to create them as a view, and then I want to show you a couple of tricks for sorting those in a way that the reps can easily get to those. So let's go over here to manage views, and we'll create a new view. One of the first things I'll tell you is that the view name, they'll sort alphabetically. So if you want to control the order of some of your views, you could call this one A1 New Leads for Reps. And you can name it however you like. And then right here in the search criteria is how you'll define the search that will pull all of the records in for this view. So you want to select the operator here, so field value equals, and in my case, lead. And I'm just concerned about getting anything that's a lead, so if you needed to select other criteria, you can. Down here in the select columns for view, these are going to be the, the columns that show up when this view is selected. So uh, in the grid, these are the columns. So let's say I don't care about the number, but I do want to see the last updated date and maybe the creation date. And let's say that I want my newest leads to be at the top. So when I sort this, sorting by column 1 means that I'm going to sort by creation date. If I wanted to sort by organization name, notice how that's column 2, I would select column 2. But I'm going to sort by creation date, column 1. I'm going to do this descending. And then this down here, this is, you use this if you want to create an export tied to this view. Uh, for my use case right here, it's not a big deal, so I'm just going to kind of skip past that by checking use view columns. And then I can make this either personal or public. Personal means just for me. Public means for anyone. So I'm going to save that as a public view. And then we'll click the See This View link. And so now here I've got this view. So in my list here I've got a new A1 leads for reps. And then I've got these other views. Now let's go in let's create a second one called uh, Customer Follow-up. And we'll call that, that one A2. What I'm going to do, because I want it to be very similar to the last one, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to clone this view. And then I'm just going to change the name. Customer follow ups. And then this is going to be, instead of based on leads, this is going to be based on customers. And because I cloned it, my columns are already just the same and my sort by is already the same. So I'm going to put that as public. So now what you'll notice is when I go click on the Organizations tab, it still takes me back to that, that normal view, the All Customers view, but I now have an A1 and an A2 view here in my list. So if I want to give anybody who has a certain role, I want to make them the default view, you can either do, you can either log in as each of the users and set that view as their default right there, or if you want to do it for everybody that has this role, and this is why this is a great feature for an administrator, you come in here to roles and you go to access to views and you'll see here's those views that we created so these are enabled I'm going to set the A1 to be my default and let's say that I didn't even want to have those other views show up, the all customers or the customer view, I just wanted those other two views to show up I'm going to uncheck those other views and this is the role for agent. I'm going to submit that. Now again, to do your testing here, if you're an administrator with multiple roles, if you have multiple roles assigned, you'll see the switch roles option. So you can switch role. You can view things as agent. And because we've made that the default, now as soon as I click on organizations, I see the A1 view by default. And notice how I only see those two views. So, so controlling the views and setting the default is a great way for an account administrator who's managing a, an account with multiple users to make things really easy, really simple for the users by 
creating views for them, even organizing them in a particular order, and then deleting the views that they don't need to see from their list. So it's just nice and clean. Those are the, the records that they need to see. Hope that you find this video help, helpful. Thank you.